Hart pushing pace. Here's Randall. All the way to the goal. Blocking foul on Jaquez. As Randall is shaken up. Well, you don't want to see that. Randall favoring that right shoulder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. You can turn any time someone gets hurt. Well, yesterday against the Heat, Julius Randle dislocating his shoulder after trying to brace himself during a fall. The Knicks hoping that he won't be out too long as they await the results of an MRI. And joining us now to talk about the Knicks is CP, the franchise from Knicks Fan TV. A long time no see, buddy. Welcome back. John, long time no see. And, you know, the number one question here in New York this morning was not who's going to the Super Bowl, but what is the status mm -hmm. of Julius Randle, man? It's been a tough 24 hours here in New York as Knicks fans are anxiously awaiting the MRI results. We all keep refreshing our Twitter feeds to see if they pop up there. But look, they were humming along this week. They just won three straight uh, against the Nets, the Nuggets, and the Heat. And then they go and they lose Randall, who's been unarguably the second best player in this lineup going back some time now here. Can they extend can they weather an extended period without him here? It, it really all depends on how long he's going to be out. In, in the short term, if you look at it, the Knicks, six of their next nine games will be at home, and then they will head into the All-Star break, which is another week. And so in the short term, they should be able to tread water uh, with some winnable games here. But in the long term, that's where things can get tricky. It's not easy to replace 23 points and nine rebounds per game in your offense. A guy like Julius Randle, who notoriously draws double teams for this Knicks offense, Offense and makes their offense go a guy who can get to the free throw line as well with the way that he was so aggressive in driving to the basket and so that production cannot be easily replaced I think John what you'll see in the next game against the Charlotte Hornets without Julius Randle is that you will see Josh Hart starting at the small forward position OG Ananobi will slide down to the power forward position bringing in Josh Hart will allow you to have more rebounds in your lineup maintain your defensive principles and another guy who can help play make ball handle and bring the ball up in, in transition as well so it will be a tough adjustment just have to wait and see what the MRI results will be yeah boy are they happy to have the versatility of OG right now let's talk about how good they've been since they got Ananobi here check out the numbers before the trade they were 17 and 15 scoring 115 points per game they were giving up 113 though and that's the biggest difference uh, opponents were shooting 48 percent from the field now about 38 percent from three now look at the numbers after the trade here the Knicks are now 12 and 2. Their scoring is about the same, but they're holding opponents to just 100 points a game. 13 points less. That's incredible. Three point percentage uh, and field goal percentage both down. Why has this defense been so good since OG joined this team? The OG effect is real. 12 and 2 since the trade. Uh, this Knicks team is now the number one defense in the league since the trade, number one in net rating as well. And with OG, it starts with him just being an on ball defender, a ball hawk, someone who's going to take on the tougher assignments on the team. 95th percentile in the league, John, in steal percentage. He had six steals in the Knicks' 38 point win over the world champion Denver Nuggets. And so it starts there. But then you have to look at the smaller things. What Tom Thibodeau also does well is that he deploys OG Ananobi with the Knicks' second unit, which also has formidable perimeter defenders. So when you put OG out there with Josh Hart and Quinton Grimes and Miles McBride, that bench unit also is fortified defensively. And another way that OG Ananobi really helps his team is that when he's out there forcing tough shots, it keeps the Knicks' rotation solid and allows the Knicks' guards and the Knicks' big men to grab rebounds. And the Knicks are now number one in the league in rebounding percentage since the OG Ananobi trade. So these are just the different ways that he impacts this team, and it's given the, the, this team a huge boost. All right, and Jalen Brunson this week, I mean, he's been playing out of his mind, but this week he got snubbed as an all-star starter. Is there any shot that he gets overlooked again when the coaches name their reserves on February 1st? 
John, listen, any coach that leaves Jalen Brunson off their list as on the all-star reserves, we need their name, date of birth, social security number, everything, because the Knicks fans are going to be out with pitchforks. And it should be very easy for the coaches to vote for him because every single night he is cooking their respective teams. So any coach is watching this guy live and in living color dissect their team, it should be a no-brainer. And the best part about the Jalen Brunson topic is that on the heels of this starter snub and two national TV games this past week, he put up 30 points each. And so every time his name comes up in controversy, he puts on the show on the big stage and lets the NBA fans know, hey, I'm here for the long term. Jalen Brunson is New York's guy, and he's been incredible this year. Yeah, Knicks fans certainly know it. Now the rest of the NBA world needs to recognize it as well. Yeah. CP, the franchise, thanks for coming on tonight, man. Talk to you next week. John, we'll talk. Have a great week. Thank you.